So good morning and welcome back to another video. I'm about to head out my bike now, training. But before I do, I got sent this image. I've just been sent this meme and uh, I wanted to share it with the vlog because, you know, Wahoo, they've never, I've never received any money off Wahoo. There has never been any financial transactions between our relationship. You know, Wahoo just support me and they support the channel and they support what I do. They hooked me up with the free head unit and, you know, I'm just a, I'm just a big fan of the company. They took on Garmin a couple of years ago, which were a huge monopoly in the market. Definitely brought some strong products to the table and you know they are they have become a real competitor to Wahoo which in a market like GPS computers is you know it's quite a big thing to do and this meme just made me laugh you know Garmin just blatantly tried to copy Wahoo's new branding and I mean it's not even a good copy at least get a nice background and a decent bike and someone that looks like they know what they're doing guys come on let me know in the comment section down below do you think that was a blatant copycat or do you think it was a genuine mistake I've got my opinion <laughs> So it is about two, maybe three days now until I leave Calpe and head for France. All of the real training is done, all of the real big sessions are done. I'm in like a mini taper period now. Normally you do a taper leading up to key events where you want to perform well. Obviously France being the first races of the season is going to be a little bit of an unknown. But we're going there for 10 days and over that period there's going to be six races, six hard races. So I want to freshen up a little bit before we head into that event. The key to a taper, like a successful taper, is it's not necessarily just riding easy for a week. It's doing the same intensity, but just shorter. So this morning I've done a 30 minute ride out. I'm at the bottom of the Benissa climb right now. And we're going to th kick things off today with a 10 minute sweet spot effort up here. Woo, let's do it. All right, that was a 10 minute effort. Fairly controlled, wasn't too taxing, didn't take up too much, didn't require too much effort. Uh, for you people interested in the power numbers, that was three, four, five. Kind of just standard sweet spot stuff. Got to do another one of those efforts at the end of the ride, but um, right now I've got two hours to fill, and within this two hours, I'm going to do some max sprints. Yeah, welcome back to another day in Calpe. The sun is out. Let's get on with it. So I've just done um, four sprints. I'm gonna have 10 minutes now of just steady pedaling and then um, do another four sprints in a minute. But that's over, just over an hour done. So now's the perfect opportunity to have something to eat. Brought out a Velo Forte bar today. One of the bars that the guys over at Velo Forte sent me. This is not an ad, they just sent me a few free bars to try out and test. So I'm gonna open this now and I'll give you my honest opinion. They say on them the world's finest Endurance nutrition. That is a bold claim. This is a dates, pecan, and sea salt flavor. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It just tastes like it just tastes like an energy bar. But I guess it's just that nice peace of mind that everything in it is natural and good for you and stuff. Yeah, good job, Bella Forty. I'm a fan of these bars. All right, that's an hour and a half, and all of the sprints done. I'll check out the power data when I get home to see if we hit any decent numbers. Though I felt pretty good in those sessions in those efforts but now we got one more effort to finish the ride with like i mentioned at the start of the ride got a 10 minute sweet spot effort to do now oh my legs feel after those sprints my legs feel a little bit jelly Felt pretty good again, so I decided to press on a little bit more. Average like 380 watts and got a PB up this climb as well in nine minutes, 45 seconds, according to my Wahoo. But about halfway up this climb, I think I saw Francis. I think I saw Francis, so I'm gonna turn around and head back down and see if I can catch him. Hey, it's Francis of the, the internet. Mate, finally, after all this time. It's been, it's been long due, right? The amount of times we tried to plan an engagement and it just falls through. Exactly, exactly. You can't plan it, it jinxes it. But How are you doing? Yeah, all good, man. It's nice to be in your territory here. Yeah. We've been out here for about 
two months. <laughs> this feels like my second home now. I'm wondering why I haven't been out for two months. <laughs> London. All right, you just got dropped by. We, we, just, we just got. We've been done, mate. How long are you here in Calpe for? Uh, we've got three weeks out here. Yeah. Then home for a day off to South Africa. So I think by the end of that, I should have a tan. And that's yeah. The, that's the main goal. What's the plan? Get fit or film videos? A little bit. Is, is it a choice? We're getting, mate. We're getting dropped by everyone here. Is there a choice between the two? No. Uh, I have to choose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In this video. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is the end of my session. We're gonna go for a ride someday, mate. Absolutely. Let's do it. Thursday. Okay, bike ride done. Just uploaded my ride. Training peaks like I do every day after my ride where it shows all my data and stuff. And it turns out that today I did my second best ever all time uh, five second power of 1,452 watts. That's pretty cool. My best ever five second power was uh, last season at Preston Arena doing a trip, doing a crit. So that was in, that was in a sprint finish at the end of the race. So it's nice to see that we're hitting decent power numbers so early into the year. Okay, since I've not got long left in Calpe, we decided to do something else this afternoon other than bikes. Uh, we've driven about 5k out of town, down the coast, down towards Marira, Marera, and uh, we found this little cove bay thing. Don't know what she's doing. Started counting up the losses, what a be Probably pretty high. If you do fall in, can I put it in the vlog? Sure. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind you. <laughs> yep, nope, nope. That's there, Barry. Why are you running? It's like going out of a Duracell bunny. Do you fancy going for a swim? Yeah, sure. Come on. <laughs> put your clothes back on. Can you see any whales? Can you see any what? Whales. Whales? Um, I really want to see a dolphin. I don't think you're going to see a dolphin from, from here, I'm afraid. Wouldn't it be cool to just be able to dive in off there, down into the water? I mean, I'm looking at quite a few rocks. No, if there's no rocks there, I mean. Yeah, like cliff jumping. Yeah. I think we're on the coastal path. Look. Got it, be a right bitch to walk for your ice cream, wouldn't it? <laughs> we're going to go get an ice cream in Morera, which is like 10k that way. I think we drive. We found the ice cream place. It's dribbling on me. Well, that's what happens when you get a cone. Right, can we not? Who's going to be the real winner here? Because you're not going to be able to eat your pot. What flavours did you get? Oreo and Snickers. I've never, I've never had a Snickers ice cream before. I've How's actually it? never had Oreo ice cream before. How does it taste? There's no words. A couple of days ago, I received delivery uh, of a couple of t-shirts from a company called The Chasers Collective. It's a cycling kit and also like a casual clothing company, which has been created by two cyclists. And it's kind of like a crossover between cycling inspired clothing and also music inspired clothing. So yeah, hence why, hence a few of these designs, but I'm just gonna try a couple of these on for you to see right now. As you can see, this is like a, I don't know, is that like a lion or something? Pretty cool little graphics t-shirt right there. And then finally, they also just sent me like a plain, this plain logo t-shirt. It's a really cool, just simple, I don't know, minimalistic logo. I get a lot of companies asking to send me stuff, to send me clothing, to send me a cycling kit. But I just really like the story and the ethos and kind of like, everything behind the chasers collective so i'll put the link in the description box down below this is not an ad i also asked if you know if they wanted to send me some some stuff if they could hook up the viewers hook up you guys as well so they are willing to do a giveaway of some cycling kit and also some t-shirts and stuff so if this video gets I don't know, 800 likes? Yeah, if this video gets 800 likes, then I will do a giveaway for some Chasers Collective kit. But in the meantime, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. And as always, I will see you tomorrow at 4 p.m.